today's review, we will be talking about the 2014 album Recursos Inhumanos by Peruvian band Varsovia. Those of you who've been following my other social media accounts know that I've been raving about how Lima, Peru has a great alternative music scene to a point where I've been putting some serious planning into going to the annual goth music festival there. That being said, I have not yet covered anything by a Peruvian band here on my YouTube channel. The reason is that I'd like to download at least one song by a band before I talk about them, and for whatever reason, a lot of Peruvian alternative bands are not available on Bandcamp or other places where you download music. In fact, a lot of them aren't even available on Spotify or other places just for listening, other than YouTube. Maybe one of my Peruvian followers can help fill me in as to why? Is Bandcamp not functional in Peru or something? I know some websites are like that. There is, however, a record label based in Lima, Peru, called Ba Records, which specializes in experimental music. And they have a Bandcamp page with albums they've produced by various bands, most of who don't have their own Bandcamp page themselves, including Varsovia here. So that's how we're finally able to access an album by this band in full. So let's talk about them. Varsovia started, according to my sources, sometime in 2011. They are mostly described as synth-punk as well as noise-wave. They say that their influences are punk, synth-pop, industrial, and no-wave. They have been described as dark and gothic by various music reviewers with more clout than I, so I feel comfortable including them here. The two most consistent members have been Dante Gonzalez and Fernando Pinzas, both on synthesizer and programming, though they would later respectively play the drum machine and guitar. Their original singer and singer on the album we're going to discuss today was Sherry Corleone, who also played guitar, but she left after 2015. The band's current singer is actress and performance artist Gwen Vall. This year's album is 10 songs long, including... Seven that are studio, two live, and one remix. I would like to go back on that synth-punk description to talk about how this album sounds and feels as a whole. Most of us have heard of synth-pop, but what is synth-punk? To me, synth-punk in both sound and in essence is basically modern new wave. I think because most of the new wave that has stuck around has been the most mainstream popular pieces of the genre, people these days sometimes forget that new wave was in fact alternative music and synth punk really harkens back to the alternative roots of its mother genre. When I first heard this album, what I was reminded of, and maybe these are bad examples, because they're the normal, which only had two songs, and Silicon Teens, which was technically not a real band. But the songs were real, so it counts. I guess that makes Ba Records the modern Peruvian mute records, which is one of the highest compliments I can offer as a big New Wave fan. What really harkens to that sound is not just the musical choices in general with the obvious electronic sound that don't even try to resemble sounds made by organic instruments, but the feel. I would say that there's definitely a dark feel to these songs, but something that I feel not enough alternative acts are willing to do, which a lot of other, which those other acts that I mentioned did, is a willingness to be generally weird. If the other more ethereal music I've covered gives you the sensation of reading a classic novel by candlelight in the highest room of a stone tower by the seaside on a foggy day. The synth punk feel is when you get on a cheesy carnival haunted house ride when you should no longer be awake and it ends with you in the audience of some performance art piece that uses a lot of neon. Just that visceral feeling of strange. That being said, there is still a musical sense in the sounds. This isn't just some Dadaist nonsense, nothing against Dadaism, I like Einstein and Neubauten plenty. But anyways, there's a, there are genuine melodies to be heard here. People tend to stray away from experimental music because they imagine that someone with no understanding of music theory is just slamming a guitar in a field of theremins and calling it a day. No. There is actual knowledge of the way music is supposed to sound to balance out all the weirdness. In short, if you like electronic music that doesn't hide that it's electronic and a new wave sound that sticks to its alternative roots, this may be the album for you.